So today I'm going to talk about uh, the deconstructing of stereotypes regarding career success. Um, there's seemingly a dichotomy of our understanding of career success. Uh, a successful career path for many focuses on achieving an education and then jobs in popular industries such as finance, tech, computer science, and AI, for example. These industries will define the future, they think, and will pay the most. On the other hand, a successful career can also be defined as one in which a person can follow their passion and receive a dream job. Both of these stereotypes of success are myths. I know plenty of people in seemingly new age industries that are miserable because they thought that's what they wanted. That money was what they wanted and that more money meant greater success. And I know many people who traded the allure of money and prestige for greater happiness. And they were left disappointed because money, not passion, pays the bills. A truly successful career is one built on a self-directed mindset, <clears throat> not from trends, not from others, and not solely on money or passion alone. This means a student or a child must assume full responsibility for their own career path and cannot look to an employer, their parents, and their school to define success for them. Now, you may believe that this sounds obvious and cliche, and perhaps it is. But what is different is the how. How does one find confidence to take ownership of their own career success? Well, the first step is to own the journey. <clears throat> Admit to yourself the following. There is no one responsible for these decisions but me. Not my parents, not my school, not my career counselor, and by no way my employer. There is no perfect job and no perfect result. Success means compromise. And there is no such thing as having your cake and eating it too. For example, following your passion is a noble quest, but to do so without building competence can lead to a dead end. My passion is languages, as you heard. Um, if I had all the time in the world and could do nothing less, I would be speaking 30 by now because I love them so much. But I settled on five. They are my thing and how I differentiated myself. But if I only followed my passion and only studied languages and traveled and rejected building practical competencies through doing career uh, internships, leadership roles, online finance courses, or obtaining other degrees, it would lead to disappointment. So I would have been less prepared for the challenges of building a career. Which leads me to step two, hoard experiences, however small. Do as many experiences as you can. Solely focusing on earning hard skills, such as your degree or several degrees for that matter, you will miss real opportunities for understanding yourself and your interests. Gaining unique interests, however small, help you tune in to your own true interests versus those of others. Experiences can, can be volunteer opportunities, internships, certificate courses, games, competitions, cooking classes, sports teams, visiting a new museum or travel to another country, for example. Each of these experiences should be looked at like a vaccine. As with each experience comes a challenge that you aim to solve. Like a vaccine, you build immunity for the next challenge as you take on new experiences. Each of, each of these experiences not only points you in a direction, but they also help you expand your network. The more people you meet, the more people you work with, and the more trust you gain. This will lead to more opportunities and exciting challenges. Which leads to step three, the eternal student approach. Curiosity and learning are the key to adaptability and mentally take you out of the here and now and into the future. There are no ladders, there are growth stages. We have to get rid of this notion of climbing corporate promotion ladders as a definition of career success. That approach puts our employer in the driver's seat of our own happiness. It's better to look at career success as developmental stages. It's your five-year, 10-year, 20-year life plan that you create and adjust along the way as you continue to challenge yourself, learn, and grow. Not knowing or being unsure about what you want to do is 100% acceptable especially at an early age, but the experiences you have gained give you signs along the way that you're on the right path. Complement them by gaining new skills 
and learning opportunities, and your self-engineered path will bring you career success on your own terms. Thank you so much.